Sky Edwards and in this video I wanted to give you a quick overview of where I'm at in my 6x8 story album for this year mainly because I think I'm ready to add in or start another album and when I started out with this at the beginning of the year some of you guys might remember you can go back I think and see these as well this is the first time where I'm just kind of working mostly outside of the page protector in one six by eight album where I decided that I was going to be adhering them all back to back. So what I felt like I would do in this video is take a little bit of time to adhere some of these back to back because they've I've been putting them in here without adhering them for a little bit, just some, some of them actually, some of them have been adhered. But I thought I would just take you through that process again of adhering them back to back and then do a quick flip through here so you could see the different 6x8 projects that I've done so far this year. And then like I said, I'll be starting a new album because this one is completely full. And I'm not thinking too hard about, oh, you know, am I going to have two albums or am I going to have three albums? I'm kind of not caring about that at all and I'm just going for it. Right? If I feel like telling more stories, then I'm gonna add some more in here. That's pretty much where I'm at right now. The other thing that I wanted to mention, if you guys have seen my adhesive video, I did get another adhesive to try. Actually, scrapbook.com sent this to me. They sent me a couple adhesives, new adhesives they have. This is a dot dotted roller adhesive, which I love. It has uh, refills that go inside, so they look like this. Uh, and so far, it's been great. So I'm comparing that to the scotch one that you probably heard me talk about in that video too so just testing that out uh, so far it's working great i'll link that for you guys below if you want to check that out for yourself it also has a version that doesn't have the dots that's just a plain uh adhesive roller but i prefer the dots this is what i'm actually going to be using to adhere the pages back to back all right so let's just do a quick little flip through here some of these pages were put together in the story kit classroom we have I, we have a monthly story kit subscription and i do content for that each month that often includes these six by eight outside the page protector pages. So I figured I would just flip through here so we could get a sense. I need to add some more uh, two by twos from Anna's volleyball tournaments into that pocket page there. These ones have are all ones that have already been adhered back to back that I've been telling so far this year. Here's a good example of one where it's just a couple cards, right? A four by six card or two four by six cards added in there on the back of one that was used for, to tell a specific story, kind of vellum page there. One of the reasons why this album is really full too is from our Disneyland adventure earlier this year, which I used the awesome story kit to document this, I had multiple spreads. So it takes up a few pages here because it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. And I love having the opportunity to mix the full page photos with the page protectors too. So I've got some of that happening in here. Again, this is just more, more Disney, lots and lots of Disney in this particular album here from the beginning of the year. We had a really fun adventure. So that's the end of Disney. So there's like six or seven spreads for that. Obviously takes up a bunch of space. Got a story about our camper van. I did one about Anna. So some of these, I do have six by eight albums for the kids. And so this, this particular story could have gone in her album, but I just put it in here. I think it it doesn't really matter, right? I'm not gonna spend a ton of time worrying about that. Uh, then I did some with the Rainbow Story Kit here, like this guy. These are all here on YouTube where you can see the how-tos. And then this is where it kind of starts getting into the ones that I need to adhere back to back. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and start doing that now. All right, so this process is pretty simple and I sped it up a little bit here. I'm essentially just using rolling adhesive to adhere these pages back to back. And then I'm using either my X-Acto knife there or a trimmer to cut off any excess. When I'm hand cutting a lot of these pages, uh, they don't always get cut perfectly. And so that's where I end up here um, trying to make them, you know, get them a little more in alignment. But I, I was actually pleasantly surprised at how little I had to do, how most of the pages lined up um, for the most part, there was just a few that I needed to trim some of the excess off of. Now, obviously, there are millions of different ways that you can be documenting your stories. You can be doing them in page protectors. You can be doing them 12 by 12 size. You can be doing them in notebooks. Um, what I mainly just wanted to show you guys here is an update on how it's been going for me having this kind of album this year, which is a little bit of a different approach than I've done in the past. Uh, again, doing most of my pages in the 6 by 8 size or the outside the page protector 
size, which ends up being like seven inches by eight and a quarter. Uh, but I've loved it. I've loved having that little bit of constraint for myself. So as you guys have seen so far this year, it's been mostly this size pages and then notebook pages or pages like that pieces of the past project that you guys saw uh, last week. If you, if you saw those videos on here, um, just really embracing that for myself and, and running with it because it feels like it is the way that I want to be documenting right now. So again, lots of full page photos and then lots of opportunities to use the pages that are included in the story kits that are really those directed storytelling or you know prompt based pages that are inviting me to tell specific stories. Now, the other thing that happened here with this one is when I came to the end, the last page that I had in the album, I it was blank. So what I decided to do was create a little page here by printing out a photo of my parents from when they recently visited. Uh, it's six inches wide by, I think it ended up being probably about five inches tall, but I decided to just look in my uh, journal card stash and pick out a journal card that could be added on to this page and make it really simple, right? It's essentially a journal card and a photo together, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of journaling on the bottom. I love the reminder with this too, that pages and stories that we tell, you know, don't have to be excessively designed or excessively decorated. Being able to dive into our stash of journal cards, pick out a journal card, pair it with a photo, and then write a little bit of journaling is a wonderful way to tell some of the stories of our life. So one of the things that you just saw happen there, I tried to use my six hole punch, but because I already had a dimensional embellishment on this particular page, I needed to grab my We Are Memory Keepers hole punch. And so I ended up doing that. Then I've got it on the back here. I'm going to add on just really simple. So using a rolling date stamp to add the date, um, grabbing, grabbing a puffy heart sticker, and then adding on some journaling about when my parents were visiting. one little more one little flip through here from the parts that I just adhered on this one I didn't trim off the excess along the edge there because this is a fold open page using some pieces from the rainbow uh, kit and then the currently kit but I love having all these pages adhered back to back it's just such a fun way then to flip through that was from the rainbow story kit there then some from the currently story kit uh, so much fun. Love seeing all of this stuff come together. This was from our subscriber day. I just did a, a page that used a bunch of speech bubbles and tags. That was really fun to dive into my stash. Repetition there on the chipboard. Um, and then a couple here, at least one from the right story kit. And this one was one I did for subscriber day too, using some different journaling cards. And then you guys saw me do just this last little one here uh, for, you know, of my parents visiting. I liked having something, I wanted to finish this off and, and make it feel like and actually be as if, you know, they're all done, right? I've done all of those different pages on there. I was, or all the different pages in this album, so I'm not needing to come back in and fill in any more spaces. I don't have any blank spots except for the volleyball pictures which that is something else that I want to do. I think that I'm going to add one other thing along the side here just for this page because I like the idea that it would be right behind this. So I'm going to go ahead and add this guy right on here and then fold it over and it'll be able to fold on this side which will be this nice yellow and that'll look just fine um, along there too. All right, so that's just a little a little look around the office day, a little bit something that I'm working on here. You know, it's one of those things that's just keeping up, right? Keeping up or not keeping up with stories, but keeping up with, you know, the tasks. There are tasks related to memory keeping. Uh, but I loved, loved, loved doing, starting off my year like this and looking forward to starting a second album now.